Welcome back. TV producers have brought us the drama House of Cards, but in real life, congressional Republicans are involved in a house of change, and drama is coming to the unfolding story there. Let's bring in our political panel. We'll discuss it. Joining us tonight from our Newsmax newsroom, the former chief of staff for the for, for current Congressman Walter B. Jones of North Carolina, Glenn Downs, and joining us from Newsmax New York, radio and TV commentator Ellis Hennigan. Thanks to you both. Glenn, uh, late Friday, uh, the name Jason Chaffetz is emerging as a uh, possible candidate for the speakership. What are you hearing? Who's behind that and what's going to happen? Well, J.D., starting yesterday, a lot of people on K Street and the, and the Washington establishment went into a quiet DEFCON 5 over Kevin McCarthy's candidacy and the question in their mind about whether he could uh, really be ready for prime time. And he made some inopportune statements that, that really gave a lot of people pause that have been in the news. Today, obviously, Chaffetz's name came into play. And uh, the people I've talked to on Capitol Hill say this is not a lone wolf kind of candidacy. In fact, it looks, it looks more and more like uh, the candidacy of Kevin McCarthy may be shorter lived than people realize. So by the end of this weekend, it could be McCarthy out, conceivably trying to stay on as majority leader, and Chaffetz becoming the consensus pick? Where does this leave Dan Webster from Florida, Glenn? Well, I think that would leave Mr. Webster and others out because uh, Chaffetz has made overtures to the, some of the more conservative, rebellious people uh, and has made some great progress with them. And he's gotten uh, aid and comfort and support and encouragement from people very much in the establishment, at the very top of the heap in the Republican establishment. Interesting. So you can have insiders and outsiders, and a guy who uh, I don't believe ever showed up at a Republican conference on Capitol Hill, but he's got some ideas. Ellis Hennigan, when you see what's happening with the Republicans in the House, what's your reaction? I think it's delightful. I want them to just claw each other's eyes out, right? I mean, here's the reality, right? Right, John Boehner, we're going to look back on the Boehner years as a time of great uh, tranquility and agreement and comedy on Capitol Hill. Compared to comedy, by the way, not comedy. Uh, co compared to some of these uh, renegades who are fighting for it now, who do not believe in principle, many of them, that we ought to get along and try and govern and reach some kind of reasonable compromise. Uh, I think we are down to uh, paralysis as far as the eye can see, whether it's McCarthy, Chaffetz, Webster, or someone else of their, uh, of their point of view. All right, we'll keep our eyes on Capitol Hill, but right now we need to look to the Vatican where there is a, a fair amount of intrigue. The Vatican uh, expressing, quote, a sense of regret that the Pope met with Ken Davis and that the meeting does not mean there is papal support for Ms. Davis and her position. Uh, Glenn Downs, w what is your take on this? Politics even inside the Holy See, or does this come straight from the Pope? Well, it sure seemed to me that J.D., when the Pope was in Washington, he sounded more like another politician. He sounded more like Bernie Sanders than he sounded like a religious leader. So I, I'm not quite sure what his objection to Miss Davis is. Her position on same-sex marriage is the same as the position, the official position of the Church of Rome, but I'm not quite sure what is, why, why the backtracking, but we're seeing political shenanigans here. Uh, Ellis, is this the Pope himself or the Vatican bureaucracy trying to engage in damage control? Oh, well, they reflect each other. I mean, listen, someone pulled a fast one here, right? I mean, you understand the way this happened, right? Some, some staunch anti-abortion activists were able to sneak this woman in to the Pope. He, they didn't know who she was. They weren't sure exactly what her views were. He doesn't know every local political dispute. And then the people who tried to politicize it by uh, acting as if somehow he was blessing her, uh, her uh, intolerant views, they clearly don't comport with his own more open approach. And so the Vatican had to say, no, 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 don't, don't pull this stuff on us. We're not hugging this lady. Ellis explains it all. My goodness. Uh, thanks for that, Ellis. I think, I still think uh, sure. there's something, there's something Listen. wrong here. Let, let, we got to get to another serious Listen. topic while, we, while we're here. Not that that topic is not serious, but in the wake of, shooting, of the shooting yesterday in Oregon. The president came out last night saying, yes, I'm going to politicize this issue. We need gun control. Uh, Ellis, 30 seconds to you, then 30 seconds for Glenn. Go ahead, sir. 
Well, I mean, yes, we ought to politicize it. But we keep having these things. We're the only uh, nation on earth that does. The places that have gun control, where I'm sitting right now, New York City, we have the lowest gun violence rate in America and the toughest gun laws. Maybe there's some connection there. What do you think? Oh, well, what about the city of Chicago? Uh, Glenn, your take on it. Well, J.D., I, I don't know enough about this particular situation in Oregon. I don't think anyone really does about the shooter. But one of the things that struck me as being the case is that a lot of these, these incidents have happened with places that do have very tough gun laws. But, but something that doesn't get mentioned enough is the, not, the percentage of these people that engage in these kind of activities that seem to be in, uh, on some sort of psychotropic drug. And the, 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 these, we, we, we've gotten through a real epidemic of prescribing these drugs to people in, the, in, uh, in our country, and I, it's resulted in a lot of violent and other kinds of behavior. And I don't think that's completely unrelated to some of these situations. Fair enough. We have to leave it there, and we're coming back.